Model-based permissions allow you to restrict access to your application. Our application is running in the browser with no permissions applied. Even when not logged in as a user, we can freely browse all available data. In Wakanda Studio, the model and directory are open in different tabs. The directory has three users, Betty, a sales rep, Chuck, a manager, and Ben, an account owner. The groups area of the directory specifies that the manager group includes the account owner group. This means every user included in account owner also has the permissions of the manager group. We'll select the company data store class and go to the properties tab to set permissions. We'll choose the group manager as the permission group for each of the four data operations, read, create, update, and delete. You can also set the scope on either the data store class or an individual attribute. We will select sales volume and set the scope to public on server, meaning only server side scripts can access the attribute. Next, we'll select the employee data store class and set all permissions to account owner. We will save and reload the model. We'll switch to the browser and refresh. You can already see the sales volume attribute is behaving as if it does not exist. This is because we set the scope to public on server. We'll log in as Betty. As you can see, Betty has no permissions to company or employee data. We'll log out and log in as Chuck. Chuck is a manager, so we're able to view companies but no employee data. Even the employee count is inaccessible. We'll log out and log in as Ben. Ben is an account owner and has access to employee data through the account owner group and company data through the manager group due to the fact that account owner is included in manager. Still, the sales volume attribute is not shown because it is scoped public on server.